Today I'm going to show you six different Python projects that you can do to improve your Python skills. I thought by these projects I can give you some inspiration or idea of what to do with a Python. But you can also use your creativity to add more options and functionality to them. You can find the links to the source code of these projects in the description. And one more thing, three of these projects are for beginners and three others are for intermediate level. And we're going to start with the beginner level. Okay, the first project that I want to show you is a TikTok tour game. When you run this app, it uh, gives you a welcome message, then it shows you which location have which number. When you press the enter, the game will be stored. The opponent in this game is a computer, but there is not any AI there. Without it, just uh, take a random number and see if that location is empty. But what you can do is uh, you can make this uh, game a multiplayer game and play it with your friends. The next project is a word counter app. Here you will give a text to the app and then you can do five different options. You can count how many words is in a text, you can uh, see how many characters is in a text, you can count how many times a word is repeated in a text and uh, absolutely you can change the text if you want it. If you forget the options you can see them again by typing five and lastly, by typing 99, you will exit from the app. The next project is Website Blocker. And actually, I didn't it by myself without uh, I found it in the internet. You can find the source code and really good explanation to this project in uh, this website. And by doing this project, you will be able to block some website that you think they distract you. The next project is file manager. In this app you will be able to navigate to different folders and uh, directories by double click on them. But if you double click or uh, right click and choose a uh, open an exe file it should just run it. And if you do it in a, a text file it have to open it in notepad. By uh, clicking on a left and right arrow, it should just uh, go backward and forward in a folders. You can also cut and copy the files and uh, paste them in a different folders. The next project that I want to show you is also a GUI app and it's a to-do app. In this app, you will be able to add and manage your tasks. For example, here I'm going to add a new task. I'm going to give it a title. Then I'm going to choose when should it be done. Then I'm going to add it. You see now we have a new task in the other list. You can also update it by clicking on that. So here I'm going to just update the title. Then I'm going to click update button. You see now task is updated. You can also add it uh, to the most important uh, list by clicking on this start button. When you are uh, done with uh, some task, you can click uh, on this uh, done button and it will be added to the done list. Then you can delete it if you want it. But you can also delete the task from uh, other list. For example, here, I'm going to delete this task from today list. OK, before I move on, I want to add that I created this uh, GUI apps with a PyQt5 module, so you know it. The last project that I will show you is also a to-do list, but this time I used the Django to create it, so it is a web application. In this app, we have to log in, otherwise we can't do anything. So we can go to the login page by clicking on this button, then we can log in or we can go to the sign up page and create an account. I already have an account, so I can just uh, log in with that. When I have logged in, I can see and manage my tasks in this page. I don't have any tasks, so I can just uh, create one. I can give it a title. Then I can choose when should it be done and create it. When I have a task, I can update it by clicking on the update button. Then I'm going to just update the title here and update it. When I have a task, I can set it as important and it will be shown in the important list. I can also set it as done if uh, I'm done with that task. And it will be disappear from this page and it will be shown in the done list. I can also delete the task and it will be asking me that I'm sure that I want to delete it. And I press yes and 
lastly I can log out if I want okay that was for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you like the video and subscribe the channel and if you had any question you can ask in the comment section below so thank you for watching and see you next time